Assalamu alaikum my dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Deshit. Dear students, today I am going to conduct a math class of class 8. Our today's topic is chapter 1, creative question 5. Okay, dear students, let us see the question. This question I will solve in this class here. Now, creative question 5. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 is a pattern. It means a pattern is given. First question A, what is called the given pattern? It means that we have to write the name of the given pattern. Okay. Determine the next four, four terms of the given pattern. It means that we have to determine the next four terms of the given pattern. Question C, from form, not from, this will be form, form and form a pattern, form a pattern taking first, fifth and seventh terms, then find the hundredth term of that pattern. It means that from the given pattern, we have to take first, fifth and seventh term and we will get another pattern. We have to find the hundredth term of the formed pattern. Okay, dear students. Now, let us see the solution. The students, first question A, observe that here, given pattern is Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight. This is our given pattern. The students, in this pattern, observe that the terms follow a rule. That is, sum of these two is this one. It means zero plus one is equal to one and sum of these two is this one. It means sum of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then sum of these two follow this one. It means that 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Then sum of these two, it means that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. What does it mean? This means that sum of the two previous term is the next term. Sum of the two previous term is the next term. So, we can write here the given pattern follow a rule that is the sum of the two previous term is the next term. This type of pattern is known as Fibonacci pattern. Dear students, you know that. Okay, dear students, so we can say this pattern is a Fibonacci pattern. So, we can write the given pattern, the given pattern follows a rule, the given pattern given pattern follows a rule that is that is sum of the two previous term terms is the next term. It means that if we add this two, we will get this one. If we add this two, we will get this one in this way. This rule is followed by the given pattern. So, you can say the given pattern is a Fibonacci pattern. So, 
the given pattern is a fibonacci pattern okay dear students i hope you have understood our solution of question a now i'll solve question b what is question b question b is determine the next four terms of the given pattern so we have to determine the next four terms here we have to observe that sum of the two previous term is the next term so you can write given pattern given pattern is Zero, one, one, two, three, five. Then eight. Here, observe that zero plus one is equal to one. One plus one is equal to two. Two one plus two is equal to three. Two plus three is equal to five. Three plus five is equal to eight. In this way, we'll get the we'll get all the terms. The students, it means that as this is a Fibonacci term, some of these two previous term will be the next term. Some of these two previous term is the next term. So. We'll get the next four terms in this way. So the next four terms are R. Here I've finished here eight. This five and eight we have to add, and then we'll get the next one. So we'll get. Five plus eight is equal to thirteen. Another one that is eight plus. Then the next term is thirteen. So we have to add thirteen. This will be twenty-one. And the next one, the next one is thirteen plus twenty-one. Thirteen plus twenty-one. That will be thirty-four. And then. Twenty-one plus thirty-four, and plus twenty is twenty-one plus thirty-four. That will be equal to fifty-five. So, dear students, so you can say next four terms: thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, and fifty-five. Thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, and fifty-five. Thirteen, twenty-one. 34 and 55 okay dear students i hope you have understood how to solve this type of question if you want to write the answer so we can write here therefore the next four terms are 13 21 34 and 55 so this is our required answer for question b the students now i'll solve question c i hope you have understood question a and b so now see question c form a pattern form a pattern taking first fifth and seventh terms seventh terms and then find the hundredth term okay dear students now see given pattern is 
জিরো ওয়ান ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফাইভ এইট দিস ইজ দ্য গিভেন প্যাটার্ন হেয়ার ফার্স্ট টার্ম ইজ জিরো ফিফথ টার্ম ইজ থ্রি অ্যান্ড সেভেন্থ টার্ম ইজ এইট সো উই ক্যান রাইট হেয়ার হেয়ার ফার্স্ট টার্ম ইজ জিরো সেকেন্ড টার্ম ইজ থ্রি নট সেকেন্ড দিস ইজ ফিফথ টার্ম ফিফথ টার্ম অ্যান্ড সেভেন্থ টার্ম ইজ এইট সো the pattern so the pattern pattern formed by first fifth and seventh term is the pattern will be 0 3 8 in this way the pattern will continue okay now we have to find the hundredth term to find the hundredth term at first we have to find the algebraic expression for this pattern dear students now see here first term in this pattern now first term জিরো ফার্স্ট টার্ম জিরো জিরো মিন্স উই ক্যান রাইট ওয়ান মাইনাস ওয়ান উই ক্যান এক্সপ্রেস অ্যাজ ওয়ান স্কোয়ার মাইনাস ওয়ান দিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস নাও সি সেকেন্ড টার্ম ইন দিস প্যাটার্ন সেকেন্ড টার্ম ইজ থ্রি উই ক্যান রাইট ফোর মাইনাস ওয়ান দ্যাট ইজ টু স্কোয়ার মাইনাস ওয়ান থার্ড টার্ম that is 8 8 means 9 minus 1 we can write here 3 square minus 1 dear students observe that here i have used a technique to form an algebraic expression what is the technique here dear students now see if you want to find the difference here the difference is 3 here the difference is 5 in this way the difference will increase so will not get a uh, same difference so we have to apply another technique to form the algebraic expression that the technique we have used or we have applied for the previous classes that is not applicable for this question this is an exceptional question you have to remember the technique always you have to try to convert this into uh, a perfect square and then you have to add or subtract something you will get the required numbers and for this i have used the technique here as one is a perfect square i have written one at first then if i subtract one from one will get zero so the uh, first number is or the first term is uh, same now we can express one as one square minus one now so we can express three as four minus one as four is a perfect square so four minus one means two square minus one here two as this is the second term and third term here we can write eight as nine minus one as nine is a perfect square we can write three square minus one this is the third term it means that here if we consider 10th term we have to use 10 square minus 1 if we want to find the nth term then we have to write n square minus 1 so at first we can find the algebraic expression in this way we can find here or if you want you can write directly here hundredth term but i will write the nth term nth term nth term of that pattern will be n square minus 1 where 
n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It means that the value of n is natural number. Value of n is natural number. So, if we put 100 on n, if we put 100 except 10, we will get the 100th term. Okay, dear students. So, we can write here. Therefore, 100th term. One hundred square minus one that will be equal to one hundred square means ten thousand and minus one. If we subtract we will get nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. This is a simple subtraction. Dear students, I hope you have understood our solution of question C. So required answer for question C is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So you can write here answer of question C is 9999. Dear students, I hope you have understood question C. It means that I have solved question, uh, creative question 5. Dear students, that's all for today. Do this question as your homework. This is your homework 42. Okay, dear students, you know that homework is very, very important for your annual examination as your city marks, diary marks and SBA marks will be given based on the performance of your homework. Okay, dear students, uh, keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe. See you again, till then, Assalamu alaikum.